Hello everyone! It's Sensei coming at you for um, an episode of Rebalancing Time that is like a this just in. Um, so all day today I've been like felt a new episode coming but it hadn't coalesced into ideas yet and I am literally just gonna <laughs> go ahead and, and channel this pretty much as it's coming in. Um, so I wanted to, <laughs> I'm sure you may have noticed, today is an especially beadful day. Um, I have a lot of different, um, beads from a lot of different places. Um, these, um, I bought in Arizona, they're Navajo. Um, this one I just bought from a gentleman at the Palo that I was at this, um, uh, this past weekend. Um, I was at the Nara, um, Sobriety New Year's Eve Powell, which was fantastic. Um, and these beads are actually, um, made in Ghana. So, um, why am I telling you all that? Um, it's because we are at a really critical juncture at this point of, um, my work and the work of, you know, the entire global intergalactic multiverse, omniverse, however big that your your mind can conceive of all of us working together in a kind of cosmic marching band dance. We're all doing our things at our own time, but hey, we have free will in there too. Um, so that creates this um, ripple effect where if you can imagine a photo being taken with me like this, and then me like this, and then me like this, and then me like this. Um, and each one of those is on its own timeline. Each one of those, those subtle variations of all of us acting a little bit differently is running independently from one another. <laughs> and yet, that is my understanding of exactly how the multiverse and the omniverse, which is a, mult a multiverse of multiverses, um, is is put into being. So, when we look at at different kinds of beading, and if you want to make a certain pattern, then a certain color of bead and a certain size of bead has to show up at a certain juncture to make the pattern um, cohesive. And if you um, or you can make it a little more random where, you know, you have certain colors that you're working with, but they could come in at any time and there's, you know, um, because if you try to, if you try to schedule and structure everything, um, it's, it's just too complex. The, as, as wonderful and miraculous as the totality of creation is, and as, <laughs> nearly infinitely uh, possible um, a set of possibilities of the universal life force, um, there still are some, if not limits, then practical <sighs> logistical limitations. You know, <sighs> if, if I... If I dropped every one of if the, if the string broke and I dropped every one of these beads and I had to go find every single one of them again um, on a beach, you know, with sand and they happen to be sand colored, am I going to get them all back? Well, I could <laughs> if I had the time and the patience to wait that long to, you know, go searching that on. But let's be honest, more than likely, a couple of them are going to get away because it's just, it's, that's, it's that diminishing returns that I mentioned in a previous video. Um, how much of our collective universal life force, force energy are we all willing to collectively spend on it? Not much more. Um, so you may have noticed that the the world today is coming to a kind of a, a, a fever pitch between everything that's been going on between Israel and Gaza and now South Africa has filed suit and said, hey, guess what? Um, hey, Israel, it looks like you're committing genocide and apartheid right there. And guess what? We should know. Um, 
but we don't have the outcome on that yet. Um, today is the day that Dr. Oh, am I going to get her first name right? Is it Claudine? Dr. Gay um, resigned from Harvard University and that's just blowing up everywhere as the first, um, as the second woman, the first uh, black woman to be a Harvard president and to, you know, be going out in a scandal that probably would not have been so publicly um, uh, dragged a person through had it been somebody who was not a black female. Um, so, oh, so and, and yet, and yet, and yet there are also people, I saw a post today um, of a white man who was showing like progressively through the years, you know, now we're at the point where like it's it's practically illegal to be white and next year is probably going to be practically illegal to be a white man um and there's a lot a lot a lot of tension in the world and guess what just like strings even strings like these particular ones that have just a little bit of stretch to them um which one am i thinking of oh the, this one it's plastic it has it has a boingy 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 but if and I'm not going to do this because I actually really like this piece. But if I pulled hard enough, I could break that string and the beads would go flying everywhere. Um, and I don't know exactly what that looks like on an Earth cosmic scale if we start breaking strings. Um, string? String theory? <gasps> Quantum mechanics? Quantum physics? What? Yeah. Yeah. Because this one right here, this one right here, who doesn't have anything beyond, you know, granted advanced high school physics, but given what was going on during the year when I took physics, it wasn't the greatest physics education forever, probably. Um, that's another story. Um... But yeah, I was gifted through, at various stages throughout my shamanic initiation with like a cosmic walkthrough of what it looks like to be working with string theory, to be working with quantum entanglements, to be working with zero point energy. Hmm. And what might it look like? Oh, dare I say it? Hmm. Nope, that's going to be for a different episode of Rebalancing Time. So you can stay tuned um, for a little talk on that. But um, the string theory piece of it, I don't know string theory from, a, from the, the, the standpoint of a physicist. I don't know from a scientific background, but I know from working with string. <laughs> um, because my particular area of crafting know-how has almost all of it involved fabrics, thread, yarn, tools for working with fabrics and thread and yarn. And that was really what I needed to um, kind of reconceive how our world might be put together that is not being taken into account right now. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you are working in quantum physics, quantum mechanics, quantum anything, get thee <laughs> to a fabric store and go around and feel you some fabrics because the way that people are conceiving of the fabric of space time right now is way too stiff. Way too stiff. <laughs> um, and we need a lot more slip in the system um, if we are going to make life work and especially if we are going to make life work through 
the transitional time that, <laughs> oh, it's not just coming. It's here. It's now. It's happening. Um, in fact, I want to shout out to um, a Facebook page that I just recently, within the past, you know, couple weeks, started interacting with. And um, I don't even know the, the name of the person who runs it. So I'm just going to shout out to the Quantum Realm Institute on Facebook. Um, we've, been, we've been posting back and forth a little bit and getting to know each other a little bit online in public on purpose. No, no DMs in the background here. This is all in public so that anyone can see what's going on. No funny business with the cosmic sleight of hand because I had a couple of restrictions during my shamanic initiation that kept happening over and over and over and over again. Um, so even though I was qualified to graduate, like I could not get that diploma. Um, and how I finally got out of it is, is another story for another day. But I mean, it was basically year over year because this went on for almost a decade um, and year over year I was getting more experience I was getting better at working in these environments where I was exper I was completely experiencing another level of reality than anybody else could see um, the, the the film um, everything everywhere all at once is a really great way to look at it except my body was still here and people were reacting around me and like, why is she talking about things that aren't even here? They were so real to me. They were right there. Um, so I was really grateful to have that film out there so that I could refer to people like, yeah, that is what it looks like when somebody is um, working and living on multiple timelines. Um, that is not pathology. This is, this, is, uh, this is a gift and a skill to be honed that is really important um, for the future of our planet if we are going to um, make amends instead of making a mess. We're, we're very much at a tipping point right now. And there is still time to make amends and to work on this and to come together in collective creativity to stop waiting for a, stop waiting for a savior of whatever you think that looks like to come in and say because because there are no hands but ours even if you think the galactic federation is coming out here and you know they're coming to earth and guess what they ain't here and i don't know if there's a yet on that or not i have no idea um, some say that they're coming, like aliens are coming. And others say that like, no, 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 no. You need to level up and reach them. <laughs> Nobody's coming. You got to fix it yourself. Um, so right now, because I'm not seeing anybody showing up, I'm going with it. You got to fix it yourself camp. Um, and it's totally possible. It is totally, totally possible. Um, so watching my time here, um, we're getting a little, starting to get a little bit along. So I just want to wrap it up by saying, what are you telling to me to? I know you know me and I know you love me too. That was my song that I was gifted, channeled through me um, years ago. <laughs> And um, I, I specifically sang it a couple times in another another episode of Rebalancing Time. But somehow, some way, if a simple little song like that can kind of go round and round and resolve itself within the song, I don't even know what it's supposed to do, but I'm going to put it out there and we'll find out together. So, um... I do want to take a moment and highlight some of the the art that I purchased um, since we're still we're still using a, a money economy here um, from Adris uh, from <laughs> artist Adrian Larvey um, is his name and it's and it's entitled Survival by Prayer 
and this is a really great um, two-dimensional rendering of what a higher dimensional um, ability to see um, more possibilities might look like and how we might invite that into the entire world just by our own actions right where we are. I call this spirit. I'm not sure what any of you call it. Um, universal life force is another, is another option. Um, but that is what wants to be shared for right now. So I thank you so much for watching. And oh my gosh, I'm really, really, really excited that um, I'm finally getting to start talk, talking about the really neat of the, the timey-wimey stuff, as, as Whovians might say, um, here on Rebalancing Time. And we'll see where we go together soon. All right, take care. Love you. Bye-bye.